Hello guys, Lincoln here, and today we're going to discuss Alposk. I must say, out of all the new heroes we've gotten, a lot of epic and legendary heroes, um, that I've not really cared about because they are strong, but they are usually legendary or epic, and it's so hard getting them to above level 100, right? So I haven't bothered. I've kept focusing on the heroes, uh, the old school heroes. But when I saw this guy, I felt like, okay, I have saved since the game started basically all my premium orbs, my summons, and I have 253 of them now. And when there's an event, where I can start rolling to get a lot of fragments of this guy, I will go for it. I will spend all my orbs to get this guy because I believe this will be the best hero of them all when it comes to the guild boss. Uh, the two new heroes we've gotten, uh, they are not like the rest. All the rest of the heroes that we've gotten uh, lately, they are good at doing damage, but it's the same with all of the heroes, nothing else. But both of these heroes, they're really specific in uh, uh, different areas of expertise. And this one is insane when it comes to uh, uh, fighting the guild boss. So that's why I want him. And this one is basically a big nerf of all the vampire heroes in the game. I will discuss more about that further on. But basically... Um, Everyone is using Vampires, right? Uh, and you will get 45% less attack speed with this guy in your team until you kill someone. And if you have a very hard-hitting team, um, or so rather a lot of tanks, so you, you don't lose anyone in your team, um, you can stay alive for a long time. Uh, and then it would be really hard for the opposing team if they have a lot of Vampires and basically all the good heroes until now have been like vampires. We have Lucretia, we have Orlin, everyone been going for these guys. We have, uh, we have um, Grimr, and we have uh, Daeva, and uh, as well Voss, no, uh, Voss and Magla, yeah. So all of these heroes will uh, suddenly lose a lot of attack speed against this guy. So he will basically nerf all the vampires, so he will be a fantastic opponent. Um, having him in your team against uh, vampire teams, so in PvP, this guy will shine a lot, and this guy will shine a lot when it comes to the guild boss. And if we look a little on his abilities, which are, all of them are insane, the first one is a passive one that grants attack power against the Harbringers, to all of your allied heroes, really good uh, stuff. And then he has the bleed effect. And the thing with bleed, it um, can uh, uh, ignore armor and all of the bosses have really high armor. So when you have bleed effect and poison, it's like the best you can have against bosses. So uh, will be really strong. And then he has some other skill when he has bleeds on. Uh, you will as well get some uh, bonuses to your entire team up to 4% attack speed and 4% armor penetration for each bleed. And that can stack up to 10 times. So it will give you 40% more attack speed and 40% armor penetration. Insane. So really looking forward to getting this guy. And I will spend all my uh, shards. Uh, to uh, get this guy. Uh, so, uh, in my opinion, a must, since compared to all of the others, this one will be really good for the guild boss. And this one as well will be uh, insane fighting in PvP against most of the players that have been focusing hard on all those good vampires. So that about that. I also want to mention one thing that I noticed when we fight the boss. Uh, 
when we talk about Harbinger, Harbinger Halbion, for example, I noticed if you click on these icons, you have some extra boosts, like your heroes gain attack power, okay, your assassin gain 20% attack power, and your human gains 15% attack power. Uh, it could be that these modifiers actually change for each new fight, not each new fight, but every new day when there's a new uh, Harbinger, these might actually change. So to keep a look on uh, if they have uh, other modifiers that might want to use some specific heroes. And this is a really good thing if they actually done like that, that it actually will change every time you meet uh, a new Harbinger. So you don't have one specific team that you can use all the time. You have to combine your team depending on what the modifiers are. So that's actually a really cool feature if they've done it like that. Uh, I actually checked around since there's a lot of these outposts um, with Halbjörn. It's not only one. So the, uh, around the map you have a lot of them. Like for example here. Another one. But it seems like it's always the same uh, boosts uh, at least daily. So uh, for this fight we will always have the same boosts. So we don't have to look around the map for a specific type. But it might be that uh, next week when we fight the same Harbinger Halbjörn, we might actually have some other boosts here and then we can't use the same setup that we used today. So keep uh, an eye on that as well. See you guys.